Do you mean to hold still or just keep going? You can keep going. Okay. It's like uh, spiritual thinkers, just as influenced by Christianity as I am Buddhism or Hinduism or whatever. They're like, what? You know, you get to this, my God's better than your God. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to choose. Leave me alone. Right. It's like, you people got good ideas that they don't. Like, I don't, you know. Again, second pass? Yes, please. A little bit deeper? Yes. Okay. Right there, yeah. a little more towards the arch. Yeah, definitely more towards. The arch. In step, there you go. It's amazing how much access you can get. You're using your foot, right? Yeah. Foot. Oh, I'm horribly stressed right now. Yeah. <laughs> Having some weird philosophical, <laughs> cultural, you know cultural critique while I, you know, mash on you with my feet. Right. Um, also, as I work, um, I just tell the students, like, they, it's going to take them time to learn how to use their legs and feet. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to build uh, dexterity and then also strength and flexibility in their feet and legs. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to do anything that's uncomfortable. And if they do something and it's uncomfortable, I'm like, let's do it a different way. Mm -hmm. I could just as easily do this with my hands. It's just I tend to minimize use of my hands just because they're smaller, more delicate, you know, yeah. tools. I can imagine that would create some overextension of your wrist too. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> your adductor's right there. How's that? It's a little tight, but good. A little tight. Okay. I heard that. Ooh. And then they go, Robert, this is weird. Like, this isn't culturally, oh my God. Uh, there was an event I did in South Austin one time, a yoga, I don't know, somehow a yoga facility contacted me and wanted us to come out and basically do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So I had myself and a couple of colleagues, we set up mats. <clears throat> and I don't normally work out in the public gaze unless it's on video. How's that right there? Good. Is that more tender than up high? Yes. Yeah, and then more medial or more lateral? And then down towards the knee? Yes. Okay. Give me a second. I want to reposition there. But as we worked on people, you know, it's like chair massage. People can look at it. And I'm, I'm testing. People don't realize I'm doing it in social media, too. Like, like these videos are going to be a little bit longer because we keep testing. It's like, what do they want? Because I'm just trying to get more of what they want. So this woman came in. She had hip pain. She was in her 60s. And I worked with her and it was painfully obvious, like she didn't care what I did. Mm -hmm. And I laid her on the side and I sat on her hip. So like your trochanter is probably mm -hmm. about right there. So I sit and I put both of my ischial tuberosities right here mm -hmm. and I sit on her. And while I sit, I just put my hand on my chin and like watch everybody walk by. <laughs> and people started to like, they increased their distance from the mat and just looked at me like, OMG. you know, what's going on or whatever. And I look at her and she's like, Oh, and I'm like, right, I'd like shift my pelvis, like right there. And she's like, oh, because like she was just like, this is some of the deepest, most effective work she's ever yeah, had. Right. My culture is going, yeah. what, what, you know, what is this? And I'm like, eh, you just gonna have to be irritated. Yeah. As long as I get enough clients, it doesn't matter. Right. And the reason we keep filming stuff is so people can see it again and again and again and again. And it starts to change the culture.